Hey, what's up, fam? Who would have guessed the contents of this fairy tale chapter? After the last one, when everyone assumed that the Dragon Eaters were done and that they're all disappointments and, uh, uh, and Team Fairy Tale is just going to you know, run through them and it was just going to be it. Uh, you know, who would have guessed other than people who at least had the patience to, to look at the situation and know maybe they are done. And, you know, it doesn't mean much because we know there's more members of Diablos than these ones. We don't even really know where they rank as well as they might just get up where madma wasn't like on the ground passed out he just took an attack and it looked like it hurt him but kind of getting into this uh into this chapter itself pretty much what happens you know they, the attack lands lucy comes in gives wendy uh, a, a new outfit with her uh her gemini spirit which is a little nice for wendy since she's not getting looted but Grace shows up, Mad Mal actually gets up, and he looks fine. He, I mean, he looks damaged, but it's not like he's defeated. His armor doesn't even look really belted. Just looks like it's got scuffs and damage on it. And like, everyone pretty much at this point is is equaled out. Everyone's taking some uh, Everyone's taking some pain. Gets back to Urza and Kyria. Well, after Urza and Kyria, everyone's taking some pain. She goes in, she's able to block an attack, you know, push her, uh, Kyria back with her, her free hand, and then bring this attack. Now, this, don't take this attack name, sir, like, entirely. This is kind of what I got, something along these lines. And it makes me wonder, uh, with Urza's new sword and her armor, it's like, it, from what I can kind of guess, is that her, her sword will kind of just be raw dragon slaying magic, and then she can put on her her uh, requip armor, and then add on to it depending on, you know, whatever she's wearing. She could have lightning with her lightning emperors, you know, water, wind. And actually, that, that opens up a, a really new, interesting way to use her armors instead of just being elemental resistance, but being able to kind of so bring about uh, dragon elements with it. And it'd actually be pretty good, not only offense, but if she's in a team fight, she could probably replenish uh, Natsu, Wendy, Gadgil, and, you know, any Dragon Slayer on their side if she's got the right element uh, clad onto her sword. So pretty cool with, with Urza there. I, I actually really like that, but, uh, you know, Nox carry up, takes her to the top side of the ship, who Skirion kind of, like, turns her to Ash and then brings her to him, and... The three dragon eaters are like, all right, we're, we're, we're going to get out of here. There's some beef, but they have bigger things to worry about. They didn't just fight the fairy tale members. You know, they're they're trying to get to the dragon god's powers, but they have to go through Toka first. You know, they got to find her. And they, they talk about how they're, obviously there's more members of the of Diabolos than them. There's a whole bunch more. So we're going to see more about that probably within the next, I'm, I'm guessing two or three chapters. We'll at least see a couple. Maybe they'll go to their guild base and... and tell their leader whoever their guild master is what they found out and then we'll probably see a couple silhouettes and then maybe like one or two more uh dragoners which would be cool i'm hoping that if we see some more even if we don't see what they can do we just at least get like their dragon uh slaying attribute title that'd be pretty cool for me and the chapter kind of leaves off well it doesn't kind of leave off it does leave off uh with i'm trying to remember her name camille chamomile she's talking to uh Mersfovia, who wakes up, and I, I guess that he's mad about something, and he, he like, grabs her by the throat, and he's, he's, he's definitely super rattled, but he's causing the oceans above him to, like, get extremely aggressive. Uh, it seems that he's, he's pretty pissed off. Maybe, what I was kind of guessing, this is just a theory, that with Toka kind of unconscious, like, forcefully the way she was... Maybe that the Dragon God has control of his powers again until she wakes up and he's just going to be enraged, maybe go out do about something. Or the fact that he's mad, he's not able to control it and we're going to get to see just some of, you know, what he's capable of. And maybe this Ark's boss will just be not the Dragon Eaters, not the Dragon God himself, but just kind of quell his his rage, just trying to, you know, calm him down. And they're literally just fighting the, the environment as they're, as they're dealing with him. But anyway, the... Hopefully the act like a translated version of the chapter, you know, someone much better than me at translation will be able to get out the chapter today. Check back later today. Once that happens, I'll make sure to do a review and leave the com in, in the description uh, where you can go to find it, as well as in this video in the description where you can go to find the uh, the chapter itself. So other than that, uh, I'd appreciate if you if you enjoy this, you know, you enjoy getting spoilers and this kind of content, these reviews that you like the video, comment below on what you think about this, and subscribe to the channel. 
But otherwise, thank you very much, everyone who's already subscribed, and thank everyone for listening.